Okay, Lieutenant Purdue, can you describe the recent mission at the North Texas Regional Airport and its importance to TMD? Yes, sir. The 143rd uh, was exercising an emergency deployment response exercise to allow us to uh, train on our core competencies of a joint forced uh, airfield seizure. Um, the paratroopers of the 143rd were given the uh, Warno about 12 hours before showing up at their home armories and about 36 hours before they actually donned parachutes and got on aircraft. Uh, this allows us to exercise our own internal processes for uh, completing the mission and then the necessary tasks to get there. Um, it's important because uh, those are key tasks as part of the total force structure of the United States Army and the coordination that we do with our partners in other units like the 36th Cab that provided uh, the Chinooks and the Apaches for us and the U.S. Air Force which provided the C-17s. Exercising those processes of coordination is entirely uh, a, a great end result of what we were doing. Talk to us about the partnership with the 173rd from Italy. We partnered with the 173rd in 2017 as part of the Associated Unit Pilot Program, and at the conclusion of that program it was deemed such a success that uh, the 173rd in Texas both requested that it be continued, and we were the only unit uh, that was part of that pilot program that has continued that association. How often does TMD have events like this? Across uh, the entire Texas Military Department. Um, Culminating training exercises like this are quite common. For the 143rd, we try to do two of these a year. Uh, this one at the North Texas Regional Airport was Rapido Strike. We execute that one every year. It's internally resourced by the battalion. Um, then we'll do another one this year with the 173rd in Europe, and those will be our two major culminating training events for uh, this training year. And lastly, what's the goal of this exercise? Well, with the unusual training uh, calendar that we have as National Guard with only uh, being able to see our soldiers once a month, we have to break up our priorities for training across those drills. Uh, this exercise gave us the opportunity to put all of those together into one event and assess where we're at so that when we go overseas with the 173rd or in the case of a deployment, uh, we're much better prepared uh, and have an idea of what we need to work on, what we're doing well, uh, and what we're doing not so well.